Wednesday. It is workout Wednesday and I have a fun workout. Keep the lights on. I have a fun workout for you guys today. We are going to be a, doing a whole body workout. We're going to do five, I'm sorry, we're going to do three different groups of exercises. So we'll do um, three exercises twice, three exercises twice, three exercises twice. So two, two rounds of each. Um, we, so the whole body, so you don't need any body, you don't need any weights, it's all body weight. We will do, um, most of it um, is gonna be on the rug or the mat. If you have that at home, get that. We're gonna be doing different stuff and some of it, actually a lot of it is new, we haven't done it before. Um, so we're doing some windmills, some bear crawls, alternating lunges, you know, um, plank Spider-Man. I'm not sure we've done it before. Um, sprinter sit-ups we've done, hands to elbows we've done, and side plank hip dips we've done, which everybody loves. Hollow hold we have not done, and then the curtsy lunge, which is the, this guy to finish it off. So we're gonna head down to the mat for the first three, for the first two in the first group. So, oh, hey, Rachel, miss you too. Hey, David, miss you also, but I miss Rachel more. Um, we're gonna head down to the mat. Actually, no, I lied. We're gonna stand up. Stand up. Everybody stand up. We're gonna do our warm ups. So our three motions, twist, We'll do it real quick because I have a feeling this warm up is going to be a little bit long. It'll probably be about 20 minutes. Side to side. And back to front. Engaging all of your spine. Help get some extra fluid, extra blood flow to your spine. Okay, now we're going to go down to our mat. So we are going to do, I'm going to angle it this way. We are gonna do um, windmills. So these are thoracic spine windmills. So, bye Stephanie. <laughs> um, our arms are gonna be out parallel like this and we are going to be windmilling or some people call it a windshield, windshilling our legs side to side. This is really just a warm up, but it's so good for your thoracic spine that it's actually one of our exercises today. So we're gonna do 10 total, five each side. That's one, that's two, Go at your own pace. We're at four, six, eight. Good, that's 10. Nice. Now, the next one we're gonna do is that bear crawl to pike. So, this is a bear crawl. You're on your, um, palms and your feet are up, your knees are elevated, we are going to do bear crawl to pike. I don't know how I look, my pike's probably not great, but bear crawl to pike, that's one. Bear crawl to pike, that's two. We're gonna do two, we're gonna do 10 total. So everybody, hands and knees, Raise your knees, that's a bear crawl. To pike, that's one, two. So you're really setting your hips up to the sky. Some of you will be able to straighten your legs. I'm not that flexible. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's also just kind of a warm up, but it's a good one to do. Get us nice and loosey goosey for the rest of our blocks. Uh, alternating lunge. So, oh, I'm sorry, we're doing lateral lunge. Alternating a lateral lunge. So a lateral lunge, I'm on one side of the screen, I'm lunging to the side. We'll do five each side. So that's two, three, four, I think I see that royal R, which means that my mother's here. Hello, mother. She's my number one supporter. Uh, five on the other side. 
Good. Lunging out sideways. Pressing back in those hips. That's three. We've got two more. Awesome. What about me? You never miss me. Oh, yes. Mother's my number one supporter. Sorry, Rachel. You are runner up. Okay. Second round. So back on our mat, we're going to do the windmills. Arms are parallel and we're just windmilling. That's one. So just side to side, go at your own pace. That's two. That's four. Focusing on getting some extra motion in your thoracic spine. That's eight. Two more is 10. Next, we're doing hands and knees, bear, crawl, two pike. Again, really just good motion for your spine and your body. So we'll start on our hands and knees. We'll go up, elevate our knees, and then to the pike. That is one. We're going to do, forgot my hair elastic. We're going to do 10 total. So hands and knees. Kick up, that's the bear, to the pike. Straighten your legs if you can. Back to bear, to pike, that's two, three, four, five. Send those hips back, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Now, come on up any way that's comfortable. Lateral lunge. I'm on one side of the screen. I'm going to lunge out to my left side five times. Two, three, four, five. Nice. I hope everybody is doing it with me. And not sitting on their couch and watching me. Five to the other side. Two, three, four, five. Good. Come on up. So that concludes our first block. We did two rounds of those. <sighs> and now we're going to do a little ab series. So let me just clear that message down on our mats we're gonna do forearm plank spider-man sprinter sit up and hands to ankles so i'm gonna try and show you like this i think that'll be easier no this will be easier forearm plank position so you're on your forearms the closer together your feet are, the harder it's gonna be. So if you are not a plank master yet, keep those feet nice and wide, just like this. I am gonna have my feet together because I like a challenge. And we are going to be, they call this the Spider-Man. So Spider-Man, it's like you're crawling up that wall. So you're gonna bring one knee to the same elbow, the other knee to the other elbow. Can you guys see? Yes, I think you can. So it's like if I'm on the ground in my plank, it's like so it works your obliques. We're going to do 10. So only five each side. We can do it. Get into your plank position. And when we're ready, one, two, three, four. Squeeze those obliques. Six, seven, eight almost done nine ten good job Woo! rolling over to our back we're going to do the sprinter setup i'm going to show you guys from an angle so hands behind your neck just gently your feet are on the ground until you sit up and bring your leg up can you see my feet there see my feet. So I'm going to sit up and bring my leg up. Sit up and bring my leg up. They call it a sprinter sit up. We'll do 10. You ready? 
One, two, three. You're supposed to come all the way up. So I am a chiropractor, not a fitness instructor. So I struggle with wording for some of these exercises. So I think you're, maybe your hands come to the side. Anyways, it's like this. Just do what I'm doing, okay? Come a full sit up and you bring your leg up. We're gonna do 10, let's do it right. If you can't do it all the way, I guess that's your modification. I'm gonna do it all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, it's pretty intense. So I guess if you can't come all the way up, don't. Or if you need something easier, don't call all the way up. That would be your modification. I'll do that next time. My abs are already sore. Okay, next, third exercise in this block. Feet are on the ground. I think this shall work good. Feet are on the ground. We are using our obliques to squeeze side to side. To side. So I'm trying to touch my ankles with my hands. Touch, touch. We're gonna do 10 total. Everything today is just 10. So we're gonna squeeze our obliques. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Easy peasy. Woo! Okay, one more round of that for the plank Superman. This one's hard if you need to modify. Um, just do a normal plank, plank from your knees. Or yeah, forearm, plank to your knees and just do this. I'm gonna plank from my feet and we'll do 10 in one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Squeezing your obliques. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, woo! Okay, next one is the sprinter sit up. Don't, go, don't come all the way up if you need to modify. This is the whole thing. If you need to modify, just come up like this. Do something with your leg. That's what I was doing in the beginning. The whole thing you come up. I'll do the whole thing with you guys. 10, one, two, three, four, five, it's hard. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more, Sid. Ten. Okay, now we do the ankle one. Hands to ankles, squeezing our obliques. We'll do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy peasy. That concludes block number two. So now we are going on to our last block. Three more exercises, two times. Uh, 10 of each. We're doing side plank hip dips. 10 on the left and 10 on the right. Gosh, that seems like, maybe we'll just do five total. We'll just do five total. Hollow hold for 10 and curtsy lunge for 10. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So the first one, side plank, hip dip. I'm in a full plank on my elbows. If you need to go to your knees, that's fine. This is the full plank. This is the plank to your knees. We are gonna be dipping our hips like this. It's good for the obliques. Oh no, wait, no, we're not. No, I'm sorry. We're gonna be dipping our hips like this. That's what we're gonna do. So it's a side plank from your, um, right forearm, I'm on my right forearm. If you need to modify, you'll go to, to your knees or you can do a full plank like me. Squeeze up, squeeze down, squeeze up. We'll do 10, okay? So we are doing 10 each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch, I'm not gonna move around, I'm just gonna roll over. Y'all get in position. Dip down, squeeze up, dip down, squeeze up. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Woo! Okay, that was hard. Next, we have our hollow hold. Hollow hold is something that we do in Pilates like every week. It's the worst, but it's so good for your core. So all we're gonna do is lie on our backs. I have to go from an angle because Instagram does not like landscape view. So I'm on an angle a little bit. So we're gonna bring our feet up this much off the ground, two inches off the ground. Our head, neck, and shoulders lift up two inches off the ground. So it looks like this. We're gonna do 10, meaning 10 counts. This is so Pilates right now. One, two, three, for 10. So on the count of three, we'll lift our feet and we'll lift our head, neck, and shoulders two inches off the ground. One, two, three. Hold, squeeze your core, pump for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo, I counted really slow. That was a good little burn. Now we are on to our curtsy lunge. So come on up. And this is a new one for us also. Oh, gotta tilt it. We are going to be lunging. Keep one foot planted, lunge back behind like a curtsy and come up. We'll do 10 total, so I'll alternate for you. That is two. So keep the front foot planted, curtsy back. We'll do 10, okay? One, two, oh gosh, two, three, it's good for your balance, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm trying to change my angle so you can see better. I'll mix it up next round. That's ten. Okay, we've only got one more round of the last three and then we're done. How am I doing for time? Okay, yeah, it'll be about 20 minutes. Um, so side plank, we'll do our side plank dips. Lots of oblique work today, which is good. Oblique is gonna help you keep a nice tight core, a nice healthy core. So come on up to your side plank. We'll go down, we'll squeeze up for 10. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch on over, take your time if you need to. I'm just gonna get right into it, 10. Dip down, squeeze up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, everyone. Now, we've got the hollow hold. If you think I'm gonna count faster this time, you are wrong. Let's get into our hollow hold so our feet come up two inches off the ground, two inches off the ground and our head, neck, and shoulders come up two, off, uh, two inches off the ground. So on the count of three, one, two, three, we'll come up to our hollow hold and we'll pump down for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. The hardest one. Okay, um, now last one we have is the curtsy. So I'm gonna turn to the side for this one. No, that won't help you either. I think I'm straight on. All it is, foot planted, you're gonna squat back like a curtsy. That's an exaggeration. I'm just squatting kind of behind, behind to the side, so under, through. Um, 10 total, five each side. One. Two, three, see if I can do it without tripping this time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we're done. Wasn't that hard, right? I don't know, let me know. I never know how hard it is. I'm a little bit sweaty and then my heart rate is up, so 
hopefully you guys got a good little workout in too. Um, okay, so that was my whole body. Um, three blocks, two of each whole body exercise. Um, did a lot of obliques. So obliques are really good. Core is always super, super good, especially if you have any back pain. Um, I'm going to go. Yeah, my heart is pumping. Good little workout. I am going to go have some water and then I have to go to the gym for real to do a little bit of cardio. So I hope you guys have a good Wednesday. We will get this workout posted and I will see you guys same time. If I'm late, probably will be next week. Hope you guys have a great day.